Oh, hello there, you beautiful people. You, we are back with Mad Father. I, uh, I forgot what we're doing. What are we doing? Hello. Hello. Inspect it. Why won't she inspect it? That's weird. Yeah, I was pushing the right button. I'm not going completely insane yet. Only partially. But anyway, we are back. Uh, we missed our supposed to be schedule uploaded yesterday. And that was because I ate myself sick with uh, hamburgers. <laughs> oh, I screwed up. We diddle that damn died. I'll be dimmer damn. Time for the spooky music. And again, if you hear any background noise, it is because my bird pilot gets really talkative when I sit next to him. As well as, uh, my girlfriend is making us supper right now, so she might be banging stuff around or just throwing stuff at me, because that is very likely. Or I'm just being ignored right now. Um, we gotta find earmuffs, and I forgot where the bloody hell the earmuffs exactly are. Squatch. Smells like blood. What was just in here? I don't friggin' know. But it won't open. Wait a minute, can I continue going this way? Oh yeah, that's where the spooky dog is. Speaking of dogs, mine are floating around somewhere. It is cracked. It is cracked. We know it's cracked. We know it's cracked. Um, I completely forgot where to get the earmuff, so let's go exploring. Daylight come and we don't want to be here anymore. Uh, down the stairs. Down the spooky stairs. Oh, these things. I thought we had seen the last of them. Oh, well. That's how easy it is to get... Oh. Oh, no. No, we don't like you. Creepy ass dolls. That's right, you go to hell. You go to hell and you die. So, I apologize if I'm a little out of it too, y'all. I am not entirely here right now. I'm pretty sleep deprived. Woke up at about four this morning. Hey, creep ass. I just couldn't get back to sleep, so. Oh yeah, that's right. We got the creepy ass doll. We got to throw in. Sorry about that message, y'all. It's my buddy who lives in Oregon now. So, we're all excited for him because he has gotten accepted to the chiropractic school he wanted to go to, so we're pretty happy for him. If I were earmuffs, where would I hide? Why is that glowing, damn it? Hi, Maya. Hi, Maya. Maya's coming over to say hi. She might jump up here in a bit. What are you doing? Don't push any buttons. Stop that. Don't push any buttons. Monkey. She's a goof. Our dog, Maya, thinks the greatest way to get attention if you're doing something is to start batting whatever you got in your hands out of the way so okay so that's as far as we can go um, I might have to commit the ultimate sin Shh, don't tell anybody um, um, Um. Uh. 
I'm committing the ultimate sin. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm not doing anything wrong. Uh, da, da, shh, shh. No one needs to know. No one needs to know. Ah. Ah. I got it all figured out now. It's so simple that I'm just too stupid to realize how simple it is. It's such a subtle hint. And we are going to take care of it now. Do, do, do. Do. Do, 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 We're Scooby doing her. Are you kidding me? I would say we could just die, but it'll just reload us in the big passage. Ah! Ah! No one likes you. Your creepy ass doll with a big ass knife. Ta da! And we wait and we wait and we wait and we wait. And you wait and you wait and you wait and you wait. That was horrifying. We don't ever want to deal with those guys again. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Dolls really creep me the fuck out. Wrong one. Oh, we haven't gotten it yet. Cause I did die, damn died. Got the hammer. I didn't do it. Wrong button. Bonk. That's what we were supposed to do. See, I'm too stupid to realize when it says it's cracked that, you know. <laughs> I should get a little closer. Yep, put in these earplugs. Ugh, dead. It died to the death. And now it's a door for Sorry. Zombie dog, I gotta cut your belly open. Sorry. Ooh, new sound effects. Spork, spork. Got the incinerator key. Oh, you got a little bone, dude? Can I have that? Why, thank you. You're so kind. Special gift. Hello. Yeah, as long as they ain't screaming. Oh. Yeah, how's about no? How's about we do this? And then we go into the scary ass room. Ooh, Bork. <laughs> We're horrible at everything we do. Sorry, I gotta respond to my buddy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right. Well, hello there. Man, that's a bunch of new stuff. That's pretty groovy. Anything else gonna go? Hello? Oh, they're still not dead yet? Alright, well. Creepy ass dolls. That's a hell of an incinerator, y'all. It is spouting with flames. 
Who knew this was down here? You have to destroy that doll if you want to go further. Burn it up real good, and the spirit inside will burn real good, too. And then, bam! There goes the invisible door. Barrier around the door. I can't talk words and things. You want to destroy me? I won't let open the door if you do. Yeah, we'll see about that. Stop! Please stop! I, uh... Mom? Please, I listen to your mother. Stop! You're not my mom. I want to see you, my sweet daughter. Stop it! Goodbye! 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 Yeah, that's the end of that, and all these creepy-ass dolls. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's my crow? Where's my crow? A headless doll with strange clothes. The doll is destroyed. Brutal. Brutal. Haha, <laughs> stupid. Creepy-ass dolls. You guys heard that squawking sound, right? We're doing something real quick first. Real quick. That bone we got goes to a very special stuffed dog up here. Oh, uh, hello. Hey, go. Yum. What a gem. We got 19 of 21. We need three more. Uh, okay. Did he only show up on this side then? No, you're gone. I'm running. You're gone and I'm running. That's right. Mice. Mice. <laughs> the mice need to run away from us. Shut up, creep. Bong. Why? Oh, dude, that's groovy. Didn't you know from the beginning, and yet you still want to help him? I don't know. I don't know what I should do, but I have to go. Father's all I have, and whatever happens, I'll support father. That's what I promised mom. You're still going on about that? Your mother's forgotten all about any promise, and now she's torturing him. That might be true, but I know she was sincere about her promise, so even if mom forgot about it, I can never forget it. If you go and save your father, won't innocent people suffer again? I'll prevent that from happening. Prevent it? How? He's a kind father. I know he can change. We are coming up on the end of this. And we're three gems away. What a child. People don't change that easily. Isn't that the doll dad made for us or some creepy shit? There's a shiny. I don't care. I want the shiny. That will take you to the other world. Yes. He's up ahead. Are you truly going? Re a reality too harsh for such a young lady may be waiting you. Will you go regardless? Yes. You seem adamant. Then let me give you this. What's this, mister? Magic water, product of my company. Magic water? Sounds made up. Please take this with you. The power kept within this water shall no doubt be of help to you. Can I say father with this? Of course. The water has power to seal the power of the curse. So I can stop the curse. Mom. She must be in pain. So I have to save mom too. Will mom be able to rest once the curse is gone? Yes, I'm sure she will. If your love reaches her, I'm sure your mother can be saved. Okay. Thank you, mister. It was nothing, madam. I pray for your safety. Oh. Why will you not reply? I understand you're busy, but I just want the slightest reply. Do you doubt me? Perhaps my feelings are real. I would never lie about them. I adore you. I love you. Perhaps you will hate me for writing this in a letter, but when I see your madness, my heart flutters. When we first met, you tried to kill me. Just as I was about to die, my heart was pounding. I never had experienced such thrills before. I shiver to think about it. Shiver thinking back on it, but even these feelings 
are not of fear, they are of love. Because uh, even then, I knew you wanted, but it was still a mystery to me. Why didn't you kill me? I have no idea why. Perhaps I'm someone special to you. No, forgive my silly thoughts. I just wanted you to know my love is genuine. Oh, yes, I've included a map of the house with this letter. Please come if you're inclined. I'm sure my mansion will surprise you. It was used for a base for religious groups, so they left many interesting things there. I would love to show them to you. I will be waiting always. Monica, bleh. I don't know why it cut off there. We'll save in one again. Yep. I don't think we got all the gems. I might have missed the three. I wonder what she'll choose. Ho ho, I shall see this to the end. Because we left... Darn it, I don't think we're going to get it. <laughs> this is... It's like some storybook world. Better move on. What if I didn't want to go in that? Mom. So you've come, Aya. So it's really you, Mom. Mom! Blech! Mom, you shouldn't have come. Why? Why did you do this? You've seen it on your way here, haven't you, Aya? The atrocities this man created. I don't want any more victims of him. Don't you feel the same way, Aya? You lie! If anyone understood, Father, it was you, Mom. It's Maria you don't like, right? She loved father, so you don't like them getting along. I know how you feel. I love father, too. So I felt like someone was taking him away. I was so scared I couldn't breathe. Ha 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 ha. What a relief. You really are my daughter. Yes, I know that. Yes, it is all that you say. I couldn't stand to see your, ma your father and Maria together. You, so you still love father, don't you? Then why are you making him suffer? It is not that I want to make him suffer. I didn't want to give him to anyone, so I'm taking him with me. No, you can't. Didn't we promise whatever happens will support father? Rest easy, Aya. I will be supporting him. And eternally, in the afterlife, what's going to happen to me without father? I'll be alone. I don't want that. I just wanted to live with father and you. Mom, take me with you too, please. I cannot possibly do that. I want you to live and be happy. But I can't. What makes me happy is being with you and father, so don't leave me alone. Blah! No one shall interfere. Mom. Now, honey, let us go. No, no. Aye, aye, father. Father! Aya, uh, why won't you listen to your mother? Don't take father away! Out of my <laughs> Mom, no one shall have him. Mom, stop! He is mine alone! Magic Wallow, proud of my company. The power shall be kept in with water no matter the doubt that it should help you. I could say father with this, but what about mom? If your love reaches her, I'm sure she could be safe. Really? I'm not really sure. What should I do? You gotta say father, otherwise you get the bad ending. I'll say father. Aya, what are you doing? I'm sorry, mom. Stop, Aya. I am fading, my body disappearing. I, uh, I, uh, wait, don't go. Where am I? Father! Father! Ooga! Mm -hmm. Was I saved? Aya! 
Father, I, uh, I'm sorry, I, I worried you so. Father, Mom, yes, I know. She must have been quite lonely. We'll visit her grave tomorrow to soothe the spirit. Okay. I, uh, I didn't want to know you the truth, but with the last of my power, witness me. What? A fine sample. I shall dispose of the remaining materials myself. That can wait. Come, Maria. Doctor! Doctor, the mistress is aware of our relationship. Hmm? What does it matter? I don't believe she's fond of me. That's the problem. The girl will be 11 soon. It's a troublesome age, to be sure. Be kind to her, please. Ensure that she is never to come to harm. She's my most precious. Doll of them all. Huh? Doll? Me? Father? Was that? Now what? I'm going to let this episode run a little longer, guys, because it is the ending. So we'll get it all in one bing bang shabow mow. Mom! He's always spending all of his time down in this basement. Don't tell me he's with that girl again. Dr. Mistress. Uh, Mistress Aya has become rather ladylike, and to think she always used to make mischief and bother you. Ha ha ha, yes indeed. Just a little more, think a little more until she's ripe. Then I can make her into the most beautiful doll I can. What was that? She shall be the masterpiece of all the dolls I made. Dolls? What? Make her into a doll? Mom, what is this? I shall clean up of the unnecessary materials. Please do. I'll never forgive you. You'll never make our precious daughter into a doll. Huh? You, what's the meaning of this? Are you planning to experiment on her? So you overheard. What are you thinking? She's my our one and only treasure. Exactly. She's a wondrous daughter. I want to make her internally so. And yet, someday she will be dirtied. That I cannot bear to think. So I will make her into a doll. I don't believe this. I'll never let you do that. I'm leaving. You see, so what are you saying? If you want a doll of her so badly, just make a replica. Wait, are you planning to take her away? That I cannot allow. Let go. I won't let you... I won't let you do what you will with her. Mom! <gasps> Stab. Ah, ah. <laughs> no... Milady, Milady, <laughs> stay with us. Doctor, why did you do this? It had to be done for I see the future. But, Milady, don't speak of this to Aya. But, she was already feeble. She passed away from a fit. Deceive the mistress? I, I can't. Are you refusing my order? No, that is not what. Maria. Whatever happens, I am loyal to you, Doctor. That is why you are my assistant. Ah, Doctor. Now, how shall we dispose of the dog body? Naturally, Aya must not see it. Dad's. Dad's a dick. Mom. Is this a dream? Am I just having a bad dream? It's no dream. This is reality. Mom. I'm sorry, Aya. Your mother still loves you. Your father even now. So I didn't kill him. But I should have. Don't say that. Run away. Run away from him. Ah. Aya. Eek. Aya, what's wrong? Why do you look so afraid of your father? No. Oh, shit. Huh? Mother, hi, uh, what I just saw, was that the truth? Father, you... Very well. Father, well, I uh, don't you think your mother is beautiful? Ah, I suppose you just can't accept that yet. Yet, I know you will in time. I wanted to wait just a little longer, but... Father, you're gonna make me into a doll? Don't be sad, Ayala. By making you a doll, your beauty can last forever. 
Look at these children. Beautiful, yes? Preserved, just as they were when alive. They are the fruits of the devil's fa of the Drivis family research. Devils. None of them are moving. Is that what's going to happen to me? Look at them from head to toe. You can only imagine their dolls, yes? But their head, eyes, torsos, hands, legs. They were gathered from a wide array of people. Yeah, I find it quite fascinating. Combine a dog with a human so you desire. Isn't that incredible? What would you like to be, I, uh... Alas, I, I can't make many changes while preserving your loveliness. Father, stop! Yeah, yes, I shall dress you in the finest clothes. Tell me whatever you wish to wear. New! I, yeah. Oh, new! Have you come to hate me? I'm sorry, but I don't want to be a doll! Oh, sweet, a save crow. Ugh. All right, guys, we're actually going to end this episode here. We'll do the showdown finale next episode because I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, if my memory serves me right, it's a pain in the arse. Uh, I probably didn't get the special gym ending, which sucks because that one's pretty nifty. And if I don't, I'll explain it what, it, what happened after the ending, and I'll probably do a special last episode just for the bad ending. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe if you're not already. And if you are subscribed, please should share, please should share, please share this video with a friend. I appreciate it. And I love you, lovely, lovely people. And I will see you next Tuesday or Wednesday, most likely Tuesday, because those work better for me. Peace out, you lovely bastards.